Happy Friday, Ranger Nation! You made it another week! Welcome to another Ranger Week in Review! Every Friday, breaking down all the news from your world in Power Rangers this week! Oh my goodness! Happy anniversary, Power Rangers! 25 years! I have two new Super Ninja Steel episodes to talk about. Shattered Grid is wrapping up. The Heroes of the Grid Kickstarter is going awesome. Stay tuned, guys. Grab yourself a drink, sit back, and relax, because the Ranger Week in Review starts right now. Thanks for joining me guys, my name is Ranger Liz and the Ranger Week in Review is here for you. I hope you're ready to sit back and enjoy some awesome Power Ranger news. Starting with, where do we always start in the review? Super Ninja Steel, the current show. Before I get to the fact that there are two episodes that we need to talk about, I would like to talk about a little bit of news for future episodes. We got uh, quick descriptions and dates for episode 12. It's going to be called Fan Frenzy. Levi becomes overwhelmed by an overzealous fan. Sure, we've never seen that happen, Rangers, before. Uh, that's going to be airing September 8th. That will be episode 12. Episode 13, Prepare to Fail, is going to be airing on September 15th. Sarah and the team's overconfidence puts them all at risk. Normal bad time, normal bad place on Nick. Those are going to be episodes we are getting in the future, but let's talk about the episodes we had in the past. Actually, if you're still with me real quick, I realized I hadn't mentioned this. On Twitter, I'm doing a giveaway for this guy. He may... You may know who he is. I probably was covering that. You know who he is? This is Lord Dragon. I'm giving away one of these for my channel's one year anniversary. If you'd like to enter, check me out on Twitter. I am going to be doing a giveaway on Instagram. Also, I think I'm going to wait until the uh, Twitter ones are done. And because it's easier to put a picture, I'm also giving away two sets of the buttons. So if we didn't get to see me at Power Morphicon, I'm giving away two sets of buttons on Twitter. And I'm going to be giving away a few more sets also. But I'm going to be doing them in various places. To stay tuned and uh, I'll let you know when. So let's talk about Super Ninja Steel. Episode 9, that was what came out called Out Fox. When last we had left our heroes, they had no Mega Zord, they were trounced, and Madame Odious was pretty much going to take over in her Foxatron, except it had the same issues that Serpentera did, i.e., battery recharging issues. So while she's recharging her Zord, the Rangers are trying to figure out how in the world to fix their Zord stars. By the way, this is going to be a very, very quick review of it. If you want to see the full, like my full thoughts on the episode, I did do an episode review, and I also did an episode review of the 25th anniversary one. Just throwing that one out there if you want to hear, you know, actual more details. The Hood figures told them that they needed to prove themselves worthy, more or less, and the Rangers were like, duh, where are the Rangers? Why aren't we worthy? While they're going out running, getting components for what Mick is going to try to do to fix her Zord stars, they had to help a lot of people in danger, and basically, not in danger, it was like a uh, chemistry experiment, and Miss Frizzle, Fritz, whatever her name is, their teacher, lost her wedding ring, so they had to help people in this instance, and that is what gave them their power stars from these three cloaked, mysterious figures. Now, if you were on Twitter or freaking out with everyone else live streaming or, you know, live commenting on this episode, people are like, there's three, and I was like, hey, remember Wes, Gemma, and Coda were all seen with the Rangers, and the first boy sounds like Wes, and the second one could have been Gemma. By the end of the episode, you do pretty much know that it is Coda in the third one, and you do get a reveal all the time morpher, so yes, it was indeed Wes. Once they proved themselves, the Tlok figures came back and said, yeah, yeah, you're good, and they get their stuff, they make the Blaze Megazord, and they take down the Foxatron. We see the three cloaked figures again. That's when, again, we see that it actually is Time Force, and the heroes are left wondering, who are the cloaked people, and will we ever see them again? Cut three days later to when we have the big team up anniversary episode. If you were skipping ahead to this part, I do have a much longer review of it in, uh, in Wednesday, Tuesday night's video. I did two videos Tuesday. Tuesday night's video. The anniversary episode, guys. I really enjoyed it. Now, you may have hated it. That is fine. That is your opinion. I liked it, though, so that's kind of what I'm going to be basing it on. So, don't kill my buzz, man. 
I really did enjoy it. It had rangers who had more than one line. In fact, they had more than zero lines, which should have not been the the bottom of, but, but was because the legendary battle. But all of the returning rangers had at least two lines, and I was thankful for that. In fact, yes, while it was Tommy centric, and it was Tommy, Tommy's a robot, Tommy got kidnapped, and Tommy is fighting Tommy, which just. The Tommy versus Tommy fight. Mwah! Loved it. Lo I, I could watch Tommy versus his own forms just beat the crap out of each other all day. And if you wanted to watch more of it than was actually in the episode, check out, I'll have the link below, I think it's maybe Nickelodeon's channel or maybe it's Power Rangers' official channel, but they have an extended fight where he actually gets to fight as Dino Thunder Black. So it's like black versus black, cracked helmet, really awesome. Go watch that extended footage. On the topic of extended footage, I know we just, uh, we're just layering, it's a cake of Tommy Oliver's. If you're interested in an extended version, we, it's still a rumor. Okay, apparently JDF mentioned at one point there's going to be an extended cut, but we just got an extended cut of his fight. It's a very well polished, though. I'm thinking, I'm hoping there's going to be an extended version somewhere, of, uh, eventually, coming out. I will let you know as soon as I do, but as of right now, guys, anything saying the extended version is a rumor, JDF said there is going to be one, but unfortunately things do change, and if he said this, because I think he said it a while back, things may change, or maybe he was talking about the Tommy fight. So, until we have a confirmation on it, guys, consider it a rumor. Don't build your hopes up on it, just enjoy the episode for what it was. Now, we also had an awesome part tying into the comics. When Tommy first comes into, or is trying to go into his house, he mentions... JJ! And this is right before like, he gets kidnapped. JJ is the name of his son in the upcoming Boom Studios novel, Soul of the Dragon. If you guys hadn't heard about this, but are maybe getting back into the fandom because of this episode, or maybe kind of interested in where it's going, Boom Studios does some amazing comic work. It's going to be wrote by Kyle Higgins, who does amazing work. And it's going to be Tommy in the future trying to go find his son, JJ, who is uh, missing. And he's an SPD ranger. Just love the little continuity in it. And yes, we finally did get confirmation, guys. He ended up with Kat. It, they're holding hands in the end, okay? This isn't just... There it is. There it is, guys. In canon, Tommy and Kat ended up together. In fan fictions, Tommy and Kim can end up together, and that's fine. But as of in canon right now, it's Tommy and Kat. That's what, that's what it is. That's what it is. Tommy gets kidnapped by a Lord Draven. Not Lord Draken, Lord Draven. Lord Draven is trying to break the walls of reality to basically make everything one and rule everyone. Meh, what do you do? And to do it, he's got to shoot some arrows. Odious powers up the arrows. He's starting to charge them. His army, though, is a little different. It is an army of ranger robots. Not clones or anything like that. Just straight up robots. CGI puts on some suits and stuff. That, but how he's powering them up is by the rangers themselves. He's managed to make a robot be Tommy, and everyone trusts Tommy. I mean, I guess, why wouldn't you? He's basically, he's kidnapping some rangers, and now they're all there with these things on their heads, and... But again, I don't want to take up too much time on this, because I did do a full review on it, if you're interested. The rangers, our current rangers, I guess I should say, with Wes and Gemma and Coda, infiltrate... Tommy, good Tommy, oh man, good Tommy, evil, t there's a lot of Tommies. Our hero Tommy breaks out, helps the Rangers, gets them all in, they save everybody, and uh, in the end, they win. Spoiler alert, Coda and Preston did not get a scene, kind of, we were all kind of hoping there would be a moment, and there wasn't. Also, there wasn't like a really big expanded uh, roll call with the fight or with the morph sequence. Which I also would have liked, but if they had to cut it, at least they cut that and they gave us more plot. In fact, we knew pretty much what the stakes were and everything within the first 10 minutes or so of the show. I think it built it up well. I think they did the best they could with the amount of time they had. Um, and I, I really enjoyed it. It's a good team. It's, it's a good anniversary episode. 
I was smiling the whole time. And then when the Falcon Zord came out, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Like, who saw that coming? Not me. That episode, however, aired on Tuesday night, which was like, Tuesday night in primetime, that's really cool, but why would they pick Tuesday? It was the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers. Huzzah! Thank you so much. I could, I honestly will tell you, I don't know what my life would be like without Power Rangers right now. It was the 25th anniversary, and it was an amazing day. It was also National Power Rangers Day. It is official. It is on the national calendar of, you know, like, National Cheesecake Day, National Oreo Day. It's National Power Rangers Day. And it was absolutely amazing to be online that day because everyone was just happy. Everybody was celebrating Power Rangers, and I hope you got to experience it a little bit or at least saw some other love. If not, hashtag National Power Ranger Day. So many fantastic stories, pictures, videos that people made just to celebrate their love of the brand. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Power Rangers, for 25 years. Here's to 25 more, and then I can just teach my daughter, and she can take over the show at some point. So I'm going to be too old for this. There's a few things that I guess I'm, I'm kind of sad that they're now over. Power Morphicon is now over, and I love the anniversary episode, but now it's already came and passed. This thing we were building up and hyped up for for months, and another one is coming to a close. And that brings us to comic news, which is Shattered Grid. Shattered Grid number one did come out on Wednesday. I don't want to spoil it because it has been so new. I'm really going to try to like keep things to an absolute minimum. I will do a full review of it, but for the sake of everybody watching this, I'll try to keep it brief and spoiler-ish free. I honestly, when I finished, I got about halfway through the weird break in Tommy's and I had to stop and go, wait, what is going on? I don't know. Somehow my brain never made that leap. Right? Right? Did anyone else have an issue with this? I just, I had to get that out of my head first before anything else because I just, I was reading it and I'm like, I am really lost. Heroes take on the moon base. Draken. Last we left him, he threw all the morphers in. He's, ah, white light fades to nothingness. And he comes back out in Draken final form, which is more like Zeo. He looking, it's a, just... It's a gorgeous suit, don't get me wrong. I can't wait to see cosplays of it. He gets the form and basically starts kicking butt and taking names. This is like the worst game of Taboo ever, trying to say this without doing so many spoilers. When he put his arm up and he had in the cracks and it was nuts, everything fades to white. I'm super confused. You learn there's Tommy inside of Tommy. It's Tommyception everywhere. And yet the Rangers are still there, always present, always fighting and uh, and rebuilding, I guess we should say. As far as the ending goes, I gotta be honest, guys, I'm gonna have to reread the entire thing start to finish for me to really give a better perspective on the ending. And I promise you guys, if you'd like to fill in some of those gaps, I will be doing a full review on issue Shatter Grid number one, and it's going to be coming to you next week, so keep your eyes peeled. And uh, hey, if you're subscribed, you can hit the little ding thing, and you get notified when I post videos, so you won't miss any reviews. Don't forget, though, if you want more information about Shatter Grid, if you're not ready to let it go and you don't know about it, Ranger Danger Podcast is a great one. It's called The Boom Room, where they interview Kyle Higgins after an issue comes out. They're doing it with Ryan Parrott, too, for Go Go Power Rangers. If you're loving the comics or maybe you're just getting into them, you can go back, listen to the podcast epi er, episode, comic by comic by comic, and it will give you so much more depth into the stories. I highly recommend them. Also, uh, Power Rangers Now had their last interview with Boom Studios and stuff about Shattered Grid, so check out the links below if you want to be even more Shattered Gridified. And now, as far as the comics go, they're not ending. They're continuing on. In fact, but reading Shattered Grid number one, you would see there's some other stuff going on, and those and people and situations, I think, are what we are going to be seeing in Beyond the Grid, which is going to be the next major story arc. That's going to be issue number 31. When that comes out, we have a new team of rangers, a whole new area, Terra Venture. It's going to be a big adventure, and uh, I'm going to keep doing reviews, so I welcome you guys to check them out and hang out with me on them. 
Quick bit about Legacy Wars. Don't forget, they are doing a big celebration for Power Rangers 25th anniversary. 25 days of events, giveaways, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And they did just have a really big update. So if you haven't played Legacy Wars in a while, go give it a look and get in on some of the events. Let's go ahead and move on to merch news with the amazing Kickstarter that's going right now for Heroes of the Grid. I'm not ready to let go of Shattered Grid yet, and if you're not either, you're in business, because that's going to be one of the expansions if you either want to get the biggest package or just add it on if you want. As of when I'm recording this, they have crossed the $400,000 mark. Their original goal was only $100,000. Woo, Ranger Nation, you did it. That's congrats, congrats. Over 400,000, and if we hit 500K, that gets us all of the stretch goals. But, but there is still some time left. It doesn't end until the 6th of September. This is the month. It's, it's like the 31st, so just, you know. It's gonna end on the 6th, so don't let it pass you by. Go check it out on Kickstarter, hit that little remind me button so that you don't let this pass by. It's not gonna come out until late 2019, fall 2019 or something like that. But for the amount of stuff you're gonna be getting, get in on this Kickstarter. Thank you to everybody who's already put in over 2,000 different backers have gotten in this already. The last stretch goals update since last Ranger Week in review, we've got the Hero Shield Red, we got Hero Green Ranger, we got, oh, the better board, the punk Pumpkin, uh, I think either Putties or Tango Warriors, something like that, but we got a few more, but I gotta tell you guys, I'm really, really hoping we gotta get at least to the higher bit because I really want the deluxe storage box. Don't get on me. I really am just going to need a place to put all of this stuff in one area. Goldar fig? Yeah, seriously, Goldar would be really cool. I need the storage box. So if you haven't gotten in yet, please... Please donate. I need the storage box. Well, PMC may be over for con news. There's still, obviously, there's a lot of content being put out by people, so you can still enjoy it. I, in fact, was put out two vlogs this week because I'm really behind on it. The other con, though, don't be sleeping on is Ranger Stop. That happens in November. Announcing more guests, I think at least of when I'm recording, I think they were doing like a 25% off tickets. That is in Orlando, Florida, so if you live on that side, of the U.S. maybe it's a little easier for you. Don't forget Ranger Stop that's happening in November, early November in Orlando. Guys, it has been a fun Ranger Week in Review. If you didn't catch it at the beginning, I am doing a giveaway for Lord Draken for my one year channel anniversary. I am doing it on Twitter. However, I am drawing it on Saturday. I'm trying it on Saturday during my one year anniversary live stream, so please come and hang out with me. Probably going to be starting closer to 2 or 3 p.m. Central on Saturday. I want to do, I'm going to do it in some chunks. I think I'm streaming something like 2 to 5, 6 to 9, and 10 till I pass out or something like that. I'm excited. I'm going to be playing games, hanging out with you guys. I want to try to get Jackbox going so we can all interact with each other and play some games together. Recently got a Vive, so you can see me in some crazy VR stuff doing archery, just yelling, I'M THE PINK RANGER! Because I totally wasn't doing that the other day. I, I was totally doing that. But I'm going to be giving away the Lord Dragon figure, probably some other stuff. So come on, hang out, let's just have some fun and celebrate one year of just being a community and having fun on YouTube. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end, guys. I really appreciate it. My name is Ranger Liz. Thank you for watching the Ranger Week in Review, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.